not only is he an incredible coach, an amazing entrepreneur, but he's also a very close friend of mine, a wonderful human being. His name is Andrew Cruzy. Now, what I'm going to tell you about Andrew is that he is the owner of Tribe of Buyers. And this is going to be a pretty incredible speech that he's going to be sharing with you here today. He's going to share with you how he went from a broke, depressed, and miserable person to generating over a million dollars in under two years and how you can do it too. Even if you're not broke, miserable, or depressed. Even if you're happy and stuff, you can do that too. So it's all good. Don't worry. You don't have to be broke, miserable, and depressed, okay? Don't worry about that. Now, there's three things you need to know about Andrew before I bring him on stage. The first is that he has a goal to donate a million dollars to charity before 30. Pretty incredible, huh? The next one is that his TOB group has over 13,000 active members, me included. And finally, and most importantly, he has surpassed $1 million in revenue without ever running a single paid advertisement. And he's gonna show you the secrets right here, right now. Let's please welcome to the stage, my friend, the incredible Andrew Cruzy. What's up, dude? Yo. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? All right. Oh, crap. So that's to show you entrepreneurship is not perfect. It doesn't need to be perfect. When you screw up, you tie your shoe and you get back up. So, thank you. So I'm going to show you how I went from broke, depressed, miserable, to generating over a million dollars using a Facebook group in less than two years and how you can do it too. So what you'll learn today is how to find your ideal clients on Facebook and own their attention without using ads, how to turn that mass attention into leads, how to turn those leads into raving fans and buyers. I don't have too much time, but if, uh, if we do have time, I'll show you how to set and accomplish goals like a CEO. So I did it, but other people have done it too. So the proof is in the pudding. So for example, Jeff Miller, one of my first clients, he went from zero to over 38,000 members in his Facebook group without ads. With that, when you grow your Facebook group, you also grow your email list. So he has an email list of over 13,000 without ads. And he passed the million dollar run rate mark last month and has generated over $800,000 from his Facebook group without ads. And that's all in less than 18 months, starting from zero. Jasmine Lopez. She started with zero following, working a 50 hour uh, week uh, nursing job and has now has over a thousand people in her Facebook group is seen as the authority and gets to speak on stages She quit her nursing job and sent me a video just crying her eyes out and Now has the ability to make one post and generate thousands of dollars and that's all in under five months Rob Quinn went from zero to or he started at zero and generating about $8,000 a month to having over 7,000 people in his Facebook group, generating over half a million dollars from his Facebook group, and collected $91,000 in contracts in two days from one of my programs where we helped him set up his mastermind. That's all in under 12 months. So all this is possible. It's not just me doing this. So now I have a challenge. Clients pay me $60,000 for my 12-month mastermind to help them surpass a million dollars in their business. I only have 30 minutes. So we'll try to get through as much as possible. Thank you, Ross. So what I could talk about today is CEO mindset, course build out, selling in Facebook Messenger, systems, operations, email marketing, Facebook groups, copywriting, uh, the maximization model, hiring, 
uh, building a culture, uh, offer creation, the list goes on and on and on. But most of you guys have heard of the 80-20 rule. 20% 20 of your effort creates 80% of your results. So if we narrowed that down, I would talk about Facebook Messenger, Facebook Groups, uh, and offer creation. But we don't have that much time. So there's another rule, the 64-4 rule. So 4% of your efforts generate 64% of your, your results. That's 80-20 of 80-20, so we're gonna talk about Facebook groups. Facebook groups. What if I told you you could monetize a Facebook group? But before we get into it, why me? So March 2017 and before, I was uh, 24 years old, uh, two years out of college, didn't have the best college life, I was broke, I was drinking all the time, I was working uh, a nine to five job, I was pretty chubby, if like I was walking around right now in March 2017, I'd be jiggling around, uh, and I hated my life and I was depressed. But in April of uh, 2017, I decided to take control of my life. The quote that I lived by, and still do live by, is I'm master of my fate, I'm captain of my soul. So I set a goal to quit drinking and lose 20 pounds in 90 days. And I remember about 70 days in, I was at the YMCA. I looked down at the, uh, at the scale. I was 162 pounds. I was 21 pounds lighter. I accomplished that goal and that gave me a shit ton of confidence. So I started an advertising agency. Basically, I was a freelancer. I didn't have a team. So I got my first client, and I ran my first 5K. And then August 2017, I told my, bo my boss to F off, and I quit my job. So that gave me the time and space to focus 100% on my agency. There were no distractions. I literally moved back in with my parents, right there. You want to say hi? hi. <laughs> and, uh, and I focused 100% of my time on my agency. They remember me just going crazy in the basement working like 60 hour, uh, 60 hour weeks. So I celebrated my first 10K month. That was pretty cool. I worked really hard for that. And then I got an award from Dan Henry for being part of his 10K club. That was pretty cool. So then November of uh, 2017, I started my Facebook group to document my journey. Um, and I went from zero to 1,000 members in one month, in about five weeks. What's crazy is four months after starting my Facebook group, well, one month after starting my Facebook group, people started asking me for courses and coaching. Four months after starting my Facebook group, I had a $62,000 month. And then I got out of my parents' basement, I moved to the Bahamas, and I'm like, nomadic lifestyle, this is sweet. But it wasn't happily ever after. I worked myself into the ground, consistently hit, hitting about 40 to 50K months just by myself. I burnt out, I broke down, revenue plummeted, health problems, went through adrenal fatigue. So like anybody would do, I went to a Buddhist monastery. I went to, <laughs> I went to Deer Park Monastery for a week with my buddy J.R. Rivas and realigned with my values and what I actually cared about. That was the, one of the best things I ever did in my life. I discovered my dharma, my vision, and what I'm on this earth to do, which is uh, to connect people, connect people to their tribes. So January through February of 2019, I was like, oh, I'm moving to San Diego. I found an amazing girlfriend who's here. Say hi. Um, surrounded myself with new best friends and started playing pickup basketball three times a week. Because up until that point, I was burning out because I was just working on my business. So I filled it up with things that I really loved and filled me up. February of 2019 through October 2019, Guess what? Things took off. I hired 10 teammates. I have, um, I have a sales guy. I have a chief operating officer. I have an IT manager. I have five coaches. List goes on. And I made over, uh, or no, I made exactly $165,000 in two days at a nine person event. And I've helped three clients in that time pass the million dollar uh, mark with their business. And I'm going to host a live event uh, later this month, which I'm super stoked about, Tribe Buyers Live in San Diego. And there are 15 tickets left. Woo! Thank you. Um, what made this crazy growth possible, though? 
consistently having a flow of warm and hot leads coming from my Facebook group. Anytime I want, anytime I want new clients or need new clients, we can make one post and make tens of thousands of dollars. And that's what we help our clients do as well. Why does this matter to you? Because marketing is the lifeblood of your business. And Facebook groups are by far, in my opinion, the best way to market because of the ease and simplicity of generating organic leads without any paid ads and how you can nurture them until they become buyers. So enough of the hype. That was a lot. That took 10 minutes. Oh, God. Not going to have time. Uh, so let's get into it. Who knows about the value chain? Raise your hand. Awesome. So in my value chain, we have six steps. So we have a, this is how you move a stranger to a lifelong customer for your business. And you don't need to take pictures. You can actually text in at the end, and you can get these slides, all of them. Um, this is the value chain. So as a CEO, I'm always thinking, what's my vision? What's my bottleneck? Who do I need to find to ask the right question to fill that bottleneck in my business? So my bottleneck could be an awareness, lead generation, sales opportunity, closed sales, delivery, upsell, and referral, right? So today, we're going to be able to go over awareness, lead generation, and sales opportunity where most everybody starts. Does that all make sense? These six steps are super important, six stages. So how to find your ideal clients on Facebook and own their attention without using paid ads. This is awareness. How do you find them? Step one, identify five to seven target audience Facebook groups. So this is where you're going to get their attention. So identify keywords that your ideal clients will search on Facebook for, then type those keywords into the search bar, it's that easy, and add yourself to all of those Facebook groups. Then step three, once you've accepted uh, those people into the group, become hyperactive in those Facebook groups. So a little caveat here, usually paid groups are where you'll find the highest quality leads. So you can join all these free Facebook groups, but if you invest into a course or a paid Facebook group, you will find the highest quality leads because those people are already buyers, right? Makes sense. So posting in Facebook groups, you can't see this, but uh, it's a bomb ass post that got me over 600 engagements and 200 people in my Facebook group in one day. And you can copy this structure and you'll be able to get the slides at the end if you just text in. So, the structure of this is very compelling first two lines that, uh, that calls out the target audience. So I posted this in ClickFunnels, and I said, uh, let me read this. I hardly ever post here, but had to say this, ClickFunnels totally changed my life. If you're in the ClickFunnels group, you're going to read that. And then I went on about my story. I was here, now I'm there. And, or I was there, now I'm here. And then, um, then I go into how awesome ClickFunnels is and like, thank you, Overlord, Russell Brunson, you're amazing. <laughs> so it's a testimonial for the Facebook group. They're not going to take that out, right? And you get to show off like the awesome things that you did. So it stays in there. Over 600 people reacted with this. 200 people joined my Facebook group. And then my ideal client, course owners, coaches, online coaches, people who have Facebook groups, I'm just going in Facebook groups and saying, Who's a course owner here? What do you help people accomplish? 258 comments. Guess what I'm going to do? Friend request all those people because they're all course owners. It's that simple. List migration. Another strategy, if you have other lists, all you have to do is create a, a Facebook group only lead magnet. So a PDF, something like that. And then list out five other reasons why people want to join your Facebook group. It's a mastermind of people like you, blah, blah, blah. And then you just promote that to your list over and over and over. And if you have an email list, we just did this with a company called Man on Fire. We got 1,500 people in their group in less than 48 hours. So list migration strategy works great. Uh, interview swaps. So if you're just starting out, interview swaps are great. If you already have connections, interview swaps are great. This is essentially reach out to Facebook group admins or podcasters or YouTubers, and uh, you ask to interview them on your personal profile or Facebook group. 
and then uh, ask if they will interview you on their podcast, Facebook group, what have you. In turn, this will help you exponentially grow your audience and your authority. So the majority of people that buy from me actually come from the interviews that I'm on because they see I'm interviewed by this person that they absolutely adore. That's why they're on that podcast or in that Facebook group. And then my authority, it's the Oprah effect, right? My authority just goes through the roof. So now you have all this attention. How do you turn that attention into leads? So first thing you got to set up is the Facebook profile funnel. I'm always talking about this in my Facebook group. This is super important. This is on your personal profile. And by the way, we use our personal profile because it gets bigger organic reach than a business page. So we can post and get 15 to 18% reach when on a business page, your organic posts are getting like 2 to 3% reach max. So the benefit of the uh, uh, profile funnel is when somebody creeps on you, then there are multiple opportunities for them to join the Facebook group. And can I do, uh, it doesn't work. Um, I tried to use the pointer, but it's, oh, it does work. Okay, it's not showing, whatever. Uh, so on your banner, make sure that you ask a question to activate people's brains. So my question is, Want to learn how to build a lean seven-figure business organically without wasting your time, energy, and money on complicated funnels and ads? And then there's a fake button where they click that. And then in the description, they can join my Facebook group. So questions activate people's brains. There are other elements here, um, but we don't have enough time for it. Uh, but you will get these slides uh, at the end. So 5,000 friends equals 5,000 leads. So just, it's, it's crazy, thank you Facebook, that you can just friend request somebody and then they can consume your content absolutely free. You didn't have to do a paid ad, you didn't have to get them to opt in for a lead magnet. You send a friend request, they accept it, they're a lead. Also, little ninja trick, um, if you don't accept people's friend requests because you've maxed out or something or they look creepy, um, you can uh, rack up your followers. So when you don't accept a friend request, they become a follower. So just a ninja trick right there. So when you have all these friends, you need to get them into your Facebook group. So my suggestion is just send them a copy and paste PM that's just purely value giving. Tell them about your Facebook group um, and then uh, just say it's all free. Don't ask for a sale, don't ask to hop on a phone call. Just say, it's, hey, it's absolutely free. Here's the link if you want to join. It's a numbers game. You send out 50, you'll get about 25 to actually hit the button and join your Facebook group. You send out 50 a day, you're getting 25 new members into your Facebook group every single day. All right, this is Super Ninja. So once you've racked up people on your personal profile, you can make one post and get people into your Facebook group. So, and a lot of people. So Jeff Miller did this and generated over 600 people into his Facebook group in one day from this strategy. So you create a Facebook group only lead magnet. You make this post saying, hey, who wants this lead magnet? And then people comment, I want it, I want it, I want it. And then you just send them a link to your Facebook group. So ninja trick right there. And, like I said earlier, you don't only get Facebook group members, but you also grow your email list so you can become omnipresent. There's a software called Group Convert. You can Google it and find it. This will automatically take the email address and send it to your email autoresponder, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, and then you can send out an email automatically, giving them a lead magnet and then asking for a phone call or sending them to uh, your funnel, whatever you want. And then a little bonus for you guys. This has helped us make so much money. The first two questions are, where are you at? Where do you wanna be? That way we know if this person is an ideal client. So if somebody says, I'm at mm, 8K per month and I wanna be at uh, 50K in 12 months, we can help them with that pretty easily too. So we will reach out to them and we ask them in the second question, do you want somebody on the team to reach out to you? They're giving us permission and we know exactly where they're at and exactly where they wanna be. 
So we've racked that up. So um, I actually have my sales guy go in there and then reach out and generate sales that way. So your first three questions in your Facebook group, where are you at, where do you want to be, give me your email address, essentially. All right, are you guys still with me here? Yeah. Can I get a woo? woo. One more. Woo. All right, cool. Um, so how to turn those leads into raving fans and buyers. It's basically your, your sales opportunity. Uh, is it there? No, he took his face off. <laughs> so this was actually created by uh, my CEO, Avery Ford. He took himself out for some reason. I had him look over this. That's funny. Um, <laughs> So he created the million dollar messaging sequence. This is a framework, another framework for you guys. If you know this and you nail it down, like your businesses are gonna be successful forever. So you need to know your ideal client. You need to know their pain, their problem, stakes and consequences if they don't fix it, who you are, the process, uh, system, method, whatever your unique methodology is. Uh, they need to see social proof and then they become closer and closer to a buyer. You need to overcome their objections in your posts, and you need to have a vision for them and a call to action, right? So you sell the problem, you sell the process, you sell the solution. This works in sales funnels, this works in webinars, this works in Facebook groups. Same thing over and over and over. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so exact examples of content, I have these exact examples, I can't go over all of them, but uh, this first one is basically going over, uh, I'm relating to people's problems, so uh, they can see, hey, I've been in your shoes before, I get it. And then when you get these slides, you can um, click on those three, and you'll see an example of problems, example of who, who I am, and examples of uh, results. Another awesome thing about Facebook groups, Talking about results, you can collect testimonials in your Facebook group. So instead of you posting the testimonials like you do on Instagram or, uh, or your personal profile or YouTube, you can get them to post the testimonial for you and they're so much more powerful that way because it's not douchey where you're taking a screenshot and posting and look at me, it's actually them posting in a group of people that love you. And then Ninja Hack right here, after somebody opts in for my course, they have a copy and paste script that they put in the Facebook group, and it's saying, hey, I just bought this course. That adds so much social proof and so many sales. Uh, how do I generate sales in mass? You guys just grab the slides and you'll see one of my posts. So you post about your product, you basically put your sales page copy in a post, and ask people, hey, who wants this? Comment down below. And then you respond to the comments and make sales. All right, so bonus. We have a little bit of time. I'm gonna rush this, but how was that? It was decent. That was actually my second time presenting that, so woohoo, it's awesome. Um, so how to set and accomplish uh, goals like a CEO. So this one thing turned my six-figure business into a seven-figure business. Who would like that? Yeah. By the way, I didn't get a raise of hands. Who, who owns a Facebook group here? Wow, shit, that's a lot. Nice. Um, and uh, who has a six-figure business here? Who has a seven-figure business? Oh, you're cool. <laughs> awesome. Um, so the one thing that turned my six-figure business into a seven-figure business. So when I started living by this, everything changed. Your vision drive your goals. Your goals drive your planning. Your planning drives your resources. Your resources drive your execution and your execution drive your results. I was just thinking about a little bit of planning, a little bit of execution, just go, go, go. I didn't have a vision. I didn't have really solid goals. I didn't really plan that well. I didn't really like identify my resources. And then when I started to, whoo, took off. And the Buddhist monastery helped with that. So we don't have enough time to get into vision, but I have a gift for you. At the end, I'll give you my life quality optimizer when you text in. And uh, that goes over six uh, exercises that help me identify my vision. Uh, so take out your phones. You're gonna be taking notes. This is exactly how you're going to make your quarter four of 2019 the best quarter of your life in business yet. So take notes. 
Step number one, set a revenue goal for the next 90 days. Priorities, goals, rocks, they're called all different things. Uh, in the next slide, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, but set a revenue goal. We set standard goals and stretch goals when it comes down to revenue goals. Our standard goal is 400K over the next uh, 90 days. Our stretch goal is uh, half a million. So write down yours right now. Step number two, I want you to write down one of these, but identify three to five projects that you need to get done over the next 90 days that will help you surpass your revenue goal and further build stability and scalability in your business. So examples of this, complete and launch a webinar to a Facebook group and generate over $30,000 by October 15th, finish version one of new course by November 15th, hire, onboard a new sales representative by December 31st. So just pick out one right now and you can complete the list later but pick out one project, the main project, that will help you hit your revenue goal in uh, quarter four. Just type that in right now. Five minutes. It's making me nervous. Stop. Um, step number three, identify who or what you need. So these are your resources. Identify all the resources you need to complete these projects. If you haven't done a webinar before, you might need a webinar coach or webinar software or an email copywriter to follow up. What are those resources that you need? Now we don't have that much time, but I highly recommend that all of you guys go back and do this. This has helped my business out so much, setting 90 day rocks every 90 days. All right, last is execute. So I use Asana for project management. We have all, we have five rocks this quarter and they're all in Asana. So this reminds me to not focus on anything else. As on, entrepreneurs, we get shiny object syndrome. We're like, oh, I wanna do this, I wanna do that, I wanna do this. But we've identified at the beginning of the 90 days that we don't need to focus on that to hit our revenue goals, push it off to another quarter only focus on those three to five projects that you've identified will help you hit your revenue goal. Oh, and I like that quote. Uh, tell your brain to shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, now ask yourself, am I ready to work for a better life for myself, my loved ones, and the world? Because this shit was not easy. Oh, see you guys. So I got my parents up there, I've got Kate up there, um, and I'm actually donating to a house build in Mexico. Um, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, so this getting to this point was not easy, but it was worth it, and I'm so much happier because I did it and put in that hard work. So I want you to ask yourself, are you willing to put in the work for that? Um, and some awesome things, uh, just like, I've met an amazing girlfriend, um, I've gotten so much closer with my parents, um, and I get to donate a lot of money, it's really cool. So I'm uh, donating $15,000 for a house build in Mexico, um, helping a, a family that's basically living on dirt um, to get out of that and into a house, um, and probably saving some lives there. So it's pretty cool. Um, so ask yourself that if you're willing to work, uh, to put in the work for yourself, your loved ones, and the world. Thanks for the claps. All right, rapid fire conclusion. Uh, don't listen to what the masses are telling you on how to market your business. Never start with paid ads, especially if you're starting out. Don't do paid ads, everything organic. Um, start a Facebook group, generate awareness, nurture your members, and deliver offers to your members. Those three steps. Get people in, oh, no, no. Get people into your group, nurture them, sell them out. And last thing, work hard, discover your vision, become a CEO. Next steps, text purpose to four, or oh, I missed that, 74121. So take out your phones, text to 74121 purpose, 
And you'll get all these slides with the examples and all that stuff. It's clickable, all that good stuff. Thank you, Dad, for doing it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, you'll get the Life Quality Optimizer, the, the six uh, exercises I did to get closer to my vision. And then I want you to, you'll get a text, and then uh, with those things, and I want you to text uh, back the biggest takeaway from this presentation, because um, we don't learn when we listen, we don't really learn uh, when, um, uh, we, we really learn when we recite. When I, I, in coaching, I'm always asking, what was your biggest takeaway from this talk? Because that's when you actually learn, when you recite the information. So, yeah. I have one minute for one question. Who wants to ask it? Oh, there we go. You're hungry. Go ahead. You. There's nobody else sitting in that row. <laughs> so I've got a Facebook group that's specifically for eBay sellers. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, but I am personally not active in it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, um, easily. There's, uh, you need to ramp up engagement in there, so it'll be about like two weeks of posts, and then you'll see your engagement go up, especially in a group of, you said 25,000? Yeah, two weeks of engagement, just ramping that up, ramping that up, and then I would launch a minimal viable offer, a beta course, um, and my first beta course made $6,400 uh, $6, with 900 people in my group, um, if you ramp up engagement, you can make way more than that. And uh, for the beta course, I would advise that you don't charge less than $300. You want to stay premium, and I would say anywhere between $300 to $2,000 for your beta course, and take on 10 to 20 people over six to eight weeks, and just coach them. Um, every week, do a coaching call uh, to teach them how to get a certain result. Oh, that's not supposed to be there. Cool? Helpful? Awesome. Um, that's it. That's, that's all my time. All right, guys. Give them a round of applause.